five is obesity. Obesity is a major driver for type 2 diabetes. It's characterized by an increase in body weight that results in excessive fat accumulation. It is a complex and largely preventative disease. Along with overweight, it affects over a third of the world's population. It is projected based on current trends that over 85% of U.S. adults will be overweight or obese by year 2030. Obesity greatly increases risk of chronic disease morbidity, namely disability, depression, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, certain cancers, and mortality. In the U.S. in year 2000, 15% of deaths were attributed to excess weight, owing to poor diet and physical inactivity. Overweight and obesity in middle age shortens life expectancy by an estimate four to seven years. Unfortunately, obesity also involves a growing number of children. While not every obese person has diabetes, 80% of those with diabetes are overweight or obese. Authors estimate $190 billion per year of healthcare spending is due to treating obesity and obesity related conditions, which is approximately 21% of U.S. healthcare expenditure. Dollars spent on the weight loss industry, which is estimated to be over $60 billion in 2014 in the U.S. alone, and includes non prescription drugs and supplements, diet plans, gym memberships, workout videos and endless streams of money-making schemes. So as you can see, this is a huge problem in the U.S. as well as worldwide. Another issue aiding to this epidemic is intake of sugar-sweetened beverages. Consumption of sugar-sweetened soft drinks is positively associated with calorie intake, weight gain, and incidence of diabetes. Studies on school age and preschool children have also demonstrated a positive association between consumption of these beverages and weight. Many studies have shown that lowering the intake of soft drinks reduces weight gain. Well, here it says that long-term drinking of H2 water significantly control fat and body weight. And here we see that the H2 treatment significantly reduced body fat percentage and arm fat index. And here it says that H2 enhanced energy expenditure to improve obesity and diabetes, accompanied by the increased expression of FGF21. FGF21 has been identified to exhibit therapeutic characteristics for effective treatments of diabetes. To quote this study, it appears that orally administered H2 might be a beneficial agent in the management of body composition and insulin resistance in obesity. 